Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 27th of July. We are meditating on the importance of being born from above. We have been uh, reading in the book of John these amazing things that John is telling us when he starts his gospel saying, in the beginning. Have you read the book of the gospel of John? Read the, the book of John. And it is an amazing book like all the books in the, in the Bible, of course. We learn one, an important thing in the book of John, that the tradition, the old, the religion, doesn't really work, does it? In, when he meets, when Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, or when he's talking to the Samaritan woman, in both in chapter, chapter 3, chapter 3 and chapter 4 of the Gospel of John, Jesus is bringing this vision, eternal vision, to that man who was a religious man, who was a Pharisee, a Jewish person. And the same message is going to give it to the woman in chapter 4. She was not Jewish. She was a Samaritan. She was an enemy of the Jewish. The Jewish people didn't like Samaritan people. But that lady was not just a Samaritan. I mean, Jesus was Jewish, and he was talking to that um, woman. And uh, she was also a great, a great sinner. She was collecting husbands, but so was the religious person. He wasn't collecting anything, but he was lost the same way that woman was. Both of them believed, trusted in their tradition, trusted in their religion, but they were lost. In him was life, says John, in John chapter 1 verse 4. And that life was the light of all mankind. The light is in the life. He brings life because he is the light of the world and he is also the life. The, the old one, the old thing, the, the religion didn't change Nicodemus' life or the woman's, that woman's life. We don't know her name. We call her the, the Samaritan woman. Only Jesus can change our lives. In John chapter 1, verse 14, he's going to tell us that the creator of the universe came down to us. The world became, the, sorry, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and full of truth. He came down and he, he being the light of the world, he came down to reveal us, uh, the father, to reveal the glory of the father. Grace came with him. It's a gift. It's free. It, 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 you see, it's the opposite to, to, to religion. You don't have it to do anything. You just have to receive it. And the light, the spirit of God in you is going to change you. So we know by reading the Bible, by checking things in our lives and, and things in, in, his, in our history as well, that tradition, that religion doesn't change anything. Having to notice that we're just doing things that we, we used, our ancestors used to do two centuries ago, 1,000 years ago. The same things, war, conflict, division, uh, hatred, everything is the same. Only Jesus can actually change our, our lives. He can change us, completely uh, transform. So because religion doesn't work, doesn't change your heart, we, ke we keep on reading John chapter 3, verse 7. You should not be surprised at my saying, says Jesus to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. God bless you.